Multiple governments, including the U.S., are evacuating personnel in Sudan. As Jennifer Griffin reports, this comes two weeks after violence erupted in the country. The U.S. Embassy in Sudan now closed indefinitely as fighting intensifies between rival military factions in the capital. Early Sunday, U.S. Special Operations Forces airlifted out nearly 100 Americans via three MH-47 Chinook helicopters. No shots were fired during the operation. This in no way is the same as the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. We had an interest in keeping uh, troops there and keeping that region stable. The risky mission involving elite U.S. Navy SEALs comes as a power struggle takes place between the Sudanese army and a rival paramilitary force. Both have been vying for control of Sudan's government. Since fighting erupted two weeks ago, more than 400 people, including civilians, have been killed. The violence prompting several other countries, including the U.K. and Germany, to evacuate their personnel as well with the help of the U.S. military. The best thing that we can do to support British nationals and indeed everyone in Sudan is push the generals involved in this conflict to bring it to an end. Hundreds of U.S. citizens remain behind hoping to be evacuated, but the State Department says there are currently no plans to remove American civilians in a large-scale evacuation due to the deteriorating security situation. We are still uh, looking at options. We've got military uh, assets still in the region nearby, should they be needed. An estimated 16,000 U.S. citizens are living in Sudan, many of them with dual nationalities. Many have told the State Department they do not want to leave. At the Pentagon, Jennifer Griffin, Fox News.